Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. About to get into the video, but before we do, just want to show you I've got about six pounds, seven pounds of bees next to me on my front seat in what is what's essentially a briefcase. Did you hear that? <laughs> you hear them? You hear them falling off the screen? A lot of bees in there. Those are bees from a feral colony we removed today on Pass Road in Biloxi. Got to go back after dark and um, scoop up the rest of them after they cluster up. We we finished up about five. Still a lot of bees in the air. Uh, I have other work to do, so. I gotta go take care of that and then come back later after dark to, to finish scooping up the rest of them. But that box there that you saw is part of a BVAC designed by John Nelson that he calls the no-kill BVAC. I personally prefer to call it the executive. If I'm carrying around a briefcase full of bees, it's the executive. So uh, yeah, we'll get on that later. So before we get into the video, one of the more enjoyable things for me in beekeeping is to share the hobby or, or the experience with someone who has never seen it before, is genuinely interested, excited, amazed by what they're seeing and what you're sharing with them. And so what you're about to see is my, my younger brother, who is actually my beekeeping mentor, sharing with a man as he's catching a swarm on the ground. It's not a whole lot of video. Um, his wife was recording as he was doing it so you know forgive the format it's in it, it is what it is but if you're a, if you're brand new to beekeeping you'll definitely learn something from it if you're not you'll probably enjoy the video anyway a lot of little a lot of small talk a lot of nice evening visit <laughs> you know all that kind of stuff so on with the video and allow me to introduce my younger brother my mentor tommy no they bees don't be they won't be in a bird I mean, I, I come out here times in the morning. I do my bacon and eggs, mm -hmm. a little Himalayan salt. Mm -hmm. You know, throw the grease out right there. Right. Wow, look at that. The queen's going to be, you get stickers in there. That is amazing. I have never seen anything like that. I mean, I love bees. I know we need to protect them. All the GMO crops is killing oh, them yeah. left and right. All right, you hear that? You can hear yeah. them. That's the uh, that's all the worker bees fanning their wings, uh -huh. and they're putting off a scent, telling the other bees, "Hey, y'all come over here, because we found a place to make a home." So they're fanning their scent around. This is incredible. I'm just totally fascinated by this. I didn't know. <laughs> I mean, he's just right down there on him. No problem. <laughs> and look, at this point right here. See, they're not, they're not aggressive or even defensive at this point because they don't have a home to defend. Oh my star. You know, I thought that was funny. I walked out here and I said, go ahead and take a chance. You know, just ease over a little bit. They uh -huh. flew all around me, but none of them stung me. Uh -huh. And I thought they were, you know, going down in the ground right there. And I looked on the internet and it said, you know, what kind of bees go in the ground? Uh -huh. said, Africanized bees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You've got a problem. <laughs> you got some killer bees, you know. And I, uh, you know, maybe I need to go get a bucket of gas and throw it here. And I said, no, let's see if I can find somebody that come and get them. That knows bees before, you know. I don't. How know. did? Uh, how'd you get in touch with Kevin? Oh. You find a place online or 
Yeah, I just Googled it and now okay. it come up. Wow. That is simply amazing. It's, it's coming down with a handful of bees. Your head's putting a shadow on them. There you go. They're just about all there. This is how she's got her rear ends jacked up. Uh huh. That's the way they do when they're fanning pheromones around. What does that mean? It just putting off the scent, trying to attract the other bees. And it's because they're smelling. She's smelling the scent on my hand because I've been wow. working. I've been working in hives. This evening. A picture of that. That was awesome. Wow. <laughs> Amazing what you what you don't know, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is awesome. So they will all just gather in there, and then you yep. just pick them up and go put them in the box. Yep. <laughs> hmm. um, I don't know where they came from. I used to have bees. Uh, right when you, what's the what's the road right here? This Bill this, Andrews. Okay, Bill Andrews uh -huh. Road. That, that next that corner lot right there. I used to have bees in that corner lot right there. Oh, Stephen Walker funny. owned it. In yeah, there. yeah, Stephen Walker. And then, uh, Nathan used to live there. Had a double wide trailer, him and his wife. And when Nathan. I, that's mm -hmm. Steve's youngest son. Oh, okay. That's who I seen coming out in, in, in the red BMW. Okay. But um, I don't, they sold the property. I don't even own it now. But I have bees there for a couple a of years. Mexican guy from Georgia bought it. Moved oh, his okay. In. Okay. I, I've never met them. I uh, haven't either. I but when he's, when now. Steve sold the property, I had to move the bees out because they were going to put a trailer in on property or something like that. Okay, I think I'm in the field. Are you going to leave the box tonight or? Yeah, we'll leave it for a little while because they'll, they'll go inside here. That is just truly amazing. <laughs> wow. I'm looking to see if I can spot the queen here somewhere. She's there's gonna be a queen here somewhere. I got a new home. <laughs> And these are saying, yeah, but it's a fixture upper. <laughs> you think the queen's already in there? Uh, I ain't no feeling. I got one kissing me on the cheek. Can your queen be a lot bigger than the other one? Yes, sir. Trying to find a nest in that hair. <laughs> so you just store them out in the wild somewhere, or sir? You just store them out in the wild somewhere. I've, I've got them. I've got bees at my house. I've got bees at a couple of different locations. No, he sells the honey and everything. Really? Yeah. Well, you got I mean, any honey in on, in the um, truck? Yep. Yeah. And give him a couple jars. The honey comes straight off the yeah, comb I there. Yeah, I know that. I'll keep buying it from you. Then. Mm -hmm. It's all natural. Yeah, that's, and it's, that's what I love. I don't buy any of that fructose corn syrup from Walmart. <laughs> yeah. That stuff is about as fake as it comes. Look at this one trying to 
blend in with them. I know, he landed on me. <laughs> <You bucks. laughs> I don't think you want to go there. You might wind up on the venue. Oh. How long have y'all lived up the hill up there? We've been here since 05. 12 years. Right, oh, before okay. Katrina. Before Katrina. Before Katrina. God, I remember that. <laughs> Was you here then? Yes. Yeah, that was a booger. I just got my house roofed. And they say we're supposed to have another bad season this year. Oh, God. Some destroyed all the fishing on the coast, just about it. It's, it's starting to come back a little bit, I think, but... I remember we used to go down on the old Bloods Hill and Springs Bridge, mm -hmm. and you could just pull up there and park, and you could catch God knows what. It yeah. Would be a little bit of everything. Everything. Everything and anything. Uh -huh. And after Katrina, we covered up the oyster beds and yeah. didn't catch nothing. Oh, really? That what happened? Yeah, yeah, that was I all oyster that. beds under there. That's, that's why the fish were so funny. My grandpa used to uh, have a shell yard over in Bay St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You know all about the area. And crabbing and all that stuff. Okay. You know, you used to. Used to, you could buy clamshells for, for a driveway or yeah, uh huh. And they uh, and oyster shells, and they they cut that out and made them start putting the shells back in the reef. No, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I wonder that, why that dried up. So that cut out a lot of her grandpa's business. I'm more of a bass bass fishing. <laughs> okay, I like to bass <laughs> fish. Where'd she go? She's right there. You see her? Yep. Well, let her wow. in. Let her in the box. Did you see her, William? Like I did. She looks like the rest to me. <laughs> you got her? Yep. You can see the difference. See, she's got a her thorax, which would be like between her, her shoulder blades uh -huh. is bald and she's longer. Okay, okay. I see the big yeah. difference. Yes. Yeah, big difference. Okay. You better put her in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before she flies away. Mm hmm. Because if she flies away, the rest are going to go. There she goes. She's wow. in the box. I mean, if she flew away, the rest of them would know it. They would. Oh, yeah. Because of the, sm the smell, the pheromone. Um. Oh, man, this is just fast as it could be. <laughs> it's a lot better than gas business. <laughs> he, get, he gives lessons if you want to. <laughs>